Hey, how are you? Fine. Well, this video is uh, is uh, mainly targeted to to some people that uh, well, we are in a very strange situation in the world now. We are <laughs> we are dealing with very dark forces. Uh, made uh, solid, solidified, uh, or made uh, materic at the New World Order institutions and all the corporations. Well, everything you know about uh, all these things and all these, uh, this stuff, you know, uh, we are dealing with very dark forces in the world now. They were they were um, ready very very many years ago before this crisis that we are living now here at america at south america <clears throat> that we are dealing with this uh, real real strike from the new world order forces trying to put uh, new governments, uh, trying to, to change the mood of, the, of the, the kind of the operations of the governments from the left side to the right side. Well, it's not important at all, but it's important the, the power of these forces that can... Uh, make us think which which is the role of our race the human race uh, which is the role of uh, our us as, uh, as persons as people in this uh, point of the history of the human history I'm sure that you you will understand very well this video because I'm Sergio Kovosarko, I'm a writer and I'm writing many books about this kind of, of things and now I'm writing two main books um, Los Pactos Oscuros into Spanish uh, language 1962-1982 que es la segunda parte is the second part of this uh, Big history that uh, complot in Spain, bases subterráneas, aliens grises, eh, gobiernos y Montauk, 1942-2016. La segunda parte, the second part of this, of the first volume. And the second, the second book that I'm writing now is calling is called uh, the Matrix, alien, the Alien Matrix, the Code. Uh, God's and Eternal Life <coughs> that is very different it's a very different book it's uh, some kind of cybernetic book in many ways <laughs> and it's uh, literally is uh, the alien matrix the code so I'm I'm transcribing the codes the alien codes into a new interface, into a new kind of design, into a new kind of perception. Well, we are dealing now with virtual reality and they are trying to, uh, to, to get us into the virtual reality, but we are ready to. If you read uh, Neuromancer from William Gibson at the 90s, uh, this is uh, a Bible for many of us, so the cyberpunk. <laughs> and uh, many of us, uh, this is a very important book. And, uh, well, uh, or uh, other kind of books or other kind of films, that uh, we can we can watch or we can read that, that are very important that we are very re ready for the virtual reality okay for this 
new phase into the evolution of internet. It's not new. It's not new. It's, uh, we are dealing with this 20 years ago. But they they couldn't. Uh, when I when I say they, I I refer to new world order structures. They couldn't uh, implement the virtual reality because not because they they don't have the tools to make it, but because they they are not ready to to implement this to the to the main part of our race because we 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 don't want to live in a virtual reality we don't want to live in a digital world <laughs> we are we are not the slaves of these uh, gray aliens or we are not the slaves or of this uh, gray empire of this gray reptilian empire we are free we are uh, human beings and we are ready to everything that they can do to to us to our race well <clears throat> sorry for my <laughs> poor english i'm trying i will try to to describe or to or to, to translate to you or to transfer to you many knowledge but uh, my english is very poor uh, i'm in a very poor level and a very low rate of, of English level, but uh, no way, uh, I, I, I think that uh, this, uh, well, I think that this uh, new, new wave into the mood of the history, of the human history, is uh, very important because we are um, we are the rollers, the rollers of, of the history. We are not uh, spectators. We are uh, the, the rulers of our own history. We can uh, do whatever we want to do. But the new world order is very, very negative, and it wants to implement on all the aspects of our lives. So, uh, I'm not Noam Chomsky. I, I, I don't, I don't want, I don't try to, to make uh, an appointment with this video. But it's very important that we must be awakened. That we can be positive. That we can be in a love mood with the other human beings, that we are not afraid, that we have all our uh, our power yet in our hands and we uh, will ever have. We are not victims, okay? Uh, we are the resistance and we are very ready for these moments. So, uh, we must be ready to confront with new with this quest with new goals that we must uh, arrive with new targets that we must uh, strike and uh, i think that uh, new 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 history period uh, develop new human strategies you know and uh, we were ready for this moment so many years ago <laughs> but uh, it's uh, normal that you you'll be some kind of shock or some kind of what's happening in the world what, what can we do uh, it's normal that you are confused in these moments I am confused. I don't know uh, what kind of uh, mind of mental um, strategy, strategy I must develop in these moments. 
the changes are very imp impactant uh, here at South America, at Brazil, at Argentina. It's possible that uh, this uh, this troglodyte, this uh, this man, this that is called uh, Trump, can be president of the United States. Uh, so we are in a very we are in a very difficult times for the world. Okay. So we we must be very conscious that we must ahead in front of us we have a very difficult times but we must we must be positive and we must be creative and we must be full of, of love yeah, it's something like at the 80s something like the the post cold war or something like that you know and uh, and these moments the solution is inside the problem as always uh, happens. But it's normal that we are a very little shock or a very little confused with these changes and that that are not that are really aggressive, that are very difficult for every every one of us. But uh, I think that we must be courageous, uh, we must be very close one one each other and we must uh, very focus in our wisdom and in our strong and strengths in our inner strength and uh, we must uh, we must work very hard we must Every every one of us in everything, uh, in every aspect that uh, we can develop from ourselves. <clears throat> in this uh, in this uh, in this case, I'm I trying I'm trying to to wake up your minds with my books to wake up. Uh, uh, to a new, <laughs> to a new mentality, you know, because the the way that we must develop is an inner way. It's not uh, a develop of industrial way or uh, economic way, but human way. And I think we we are ready for this. Okay. Um, now I'm going to talk a little bit into Spanish <laughs> because it is useful now. Bueno, pues eso, que, que estamos en momentos muy complicados, muy difíciles, muy extraños, de grandes cambios, de grandes desafíos, de cosas que ya sabíamos que iba a ocurrir desde hace muchos años. Entonces es normal que estemos un poco chocados y un poco sorprendidos ¿no? y confusos, ¿no? Pero yo creo que debemos de usar las estrategias que yo ya venía usando desde hace cuatro años, volver a recogerlas, volver a reciclarlas y volver a usar esas mismas estrategias para estos nuevos tiempos. ¿no? Aunque sean viejas estrategias, pero en realidad son las más, las más nuevas. Eh, por mi caso particular, el ejemplo que yo puedo dar es que pues eso, que, que yo estuve un poco fuera de cualquier tipo de relación normal social. Estuve muy aislado, entonces eso me permitió desarrollar ciertos aspectos de mi análisis mental respecto a la realidad. ¿no? Y eso me permitió pues tener un punto de vista alejado de la realidad, lo suficiente como para poder analizar la realidad con esa perspectiva. ¿no? Esa perspectiva diferente. Y eso es lo que me permite y me da la fuerza para poder escribir libros eh, que todos vosotros y vosotras pues podéis eh, leer acerca de muchas cosas y de abundante información que yo os doy ahí y jugosa información que os doy ahí, nueva, porque pensabais que no existía pero que se esconde por ahí. Eh, realmente está toda la información ahí, no hay nada nuevo. Hay muchas cosas que están ocurriendo 
eh, muy interesantes, muy importantes. La realidad no es lo que nos han dicho, ni siquiera la mitad de lo que nos han dicho, ni siquiera una cuarta parte. La realidad no tenéis ni idea de lo que es. Es algo que es, no supera a todos de una forma no tangencial, de una forma total. Nos toca a todos, ¿no? Entonces, si queremos vencer a nuestros enemigos y queremos salvar al mundo y al planeta, pues vamos a tener que usar todas nuestras estrategias y todas nuestras armas, como digo, de amor, de cariño y de sabiduría. Eh... Nada más, simplemente eso que... que... Tenéis que imaginar que los desafíos son mayores de los que ni siquiera os imagináis en estos momentos. Eh, estamos viviendo una invasión eh, desde hace bastantes años no hay que esperar a que venga esa invasión estamos ya invadidos ¿vale? parte de esa invasión es esa matrix en la cual tecnológica en la cual nos quieren meter que no es una matrix creada por el ser humano eh, parece una matrix tecnológica hiper mega ultra novedosa y maravillosa y que nos va a permitir tener una vida eterna dentro de la máquina todo eso es mentira, la máquina como os digo es un invento que no es humano, la máquina es un invento alien para tenernos a todos eh, metidos ahí dentro, ¿vale? como esclavos la Matrix es un subproducto de la auténtica Matrix cósmica natural eh, es un producto además metalizado, eh, tecno tecnológico, que como os digo lleva muchos milenios siendo pensada ser creada y que se vende como el culmen de la civilización humana, pero de humano no tiene nada. ¿vale? Entonces eh, podéis elegir vosotros mismos y vosotras qué queréis hacer, si queréis pertenecer a la máquina o pertenecer a un tipo de colectivo extraterrestre, alien no humano, y antihumano diría yo, regresivo, o si queréis simplemente ser seres humanos, ¿vale? Este es el momento en que tenéis que definiros como, como entes y como seres humanos vivos. ¿Qué queréis? ¿Forma parte de las fuerzas de la naturaleza o forma parte de las fuerzas que luchan contra la naturaleza? Entre ellas ciertas razas aliens que ya sabéis que yo hablo mucho de ellas, ¿no? Los crises, los reptilianos, etc. ¿Vale? De momento vamos a dejarlo ahí eh, y seguiremos hablando en otros vídeos, ¿vale? Gracias a todos, a todos por escucharnos. La asistencia continua, la resistencia de Busan. A por ellos.